Hello. Hi. I'm Halcyon. I'm Becca. And we're on a journey. We have an announcement to make. <laughs> we're gonna start a journey. It's kind of it's been starting. We've already kind of started it. Um, we're looking to get off the sugar. That's our oh. biggest goal. I thought you meant the thing that we took about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we're going to share our own... Oh, no, no, no. no the, the, Wait, are, these, are we really in a real forest? No, no, no. We're, yes, our, our health journey. Just kidding, journey. we're completely sober. Yes, that's part of this. Yep. Uh, How many days? 76. What? You're almost at three months? Ah, that's a big deal! So that's part of this um, exploration of health and clarity and diet. And so I've already been exploring uh, re removing alcohol, uh, sugar, uh, lowering eating, carbs. Eating cleaner, um, re reducing uh, chemicals or other like refined, like candy, you know, it's, it's, we just had the holidays. So there's lots of treats and stocking stuffers and gold coins and M&Ms and junk food available and fudge and homemade goodies that your mom makes. And sometimes there's things that have dyes or other like preservatives and weird chemicals. So um, I'm a holistic health practitioner and I have been really passionate about like diet and nutrition and how it affects your body for a long time. And I've actually discovered some like food allergies within myself and that uh, totally made me like a diehard um, enthusiast about like eating right for your blood type or, or doing gluten-free if gluten-free is good for you. So, um, and since I've been uh, in a relationship with this guy, I've been like, hey, have you thought about this or have you thought about that? And we recently kind of had this opportunity where we both kind of wanted to do like a overhaul and get really cleansed and clear-headed and avoid uh, recreational substances, alcohol, and even the sugar, because sugar is an addictive substance. And so, you can be drug-free, alcohol-free, but if you're eating candy every night, you're still feeding the monster. So we decided to do the Whole30 and start with a 30-day paleo diet. And we're basically starting that today. We, we had a little bit of cheese left over and some goodies left over from the uh, New Year's Eve that we needed to eat up, but we're ready to go. No grains, no gluten, no dairy, no corn, no freaking... Whole30 doesn't want you to have gum or artificial sweeteners. Like, we can't even have stevia. Can you believe don't that? Don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? You don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Goody, goody, two shoes. I know that song. Goody, two, goody, two, goody. Don't well, so drink, the experiment, don't smoke. the process, we're going to see uh, how good do we feel, what do we get frustrated by, how What's hard for much us do we want to kill each other during this process. <laughs> Which is why we're going to do these videos so that we have a place to put our frustrations because it's not always easy to do stuff like this and we want to be able to share this path because I, I wanted to do a seven day juice cleanse maybe try the blood type diet I don't think you've ever tried blood type diet so we're going to try some different things but we're starting with my blood diet so my blood type so we're going to be sharing this uh we would love your input if you've been on things like this if you say oh my gosh you have got to try the marshmallow diet or whatever or oh maybe when you do this make sure you don't eat this when you come back from your right uh, or try this fast or whatever or make sure you're only masturbating at sunset if you're also not having carbs or whatever tips that you have have if sex in lieu of carbohydrates uh no okay so, so we're gonna share the I've journey Look for this on your channel. On Get YouTube. Life Energy on YouTube because the whole point of my YouTube channel, Get Life Energy, is about teaching you how to get more energy for your life. And one of the best ways to be more energized and feel awesome is to eat healthy and eat clean and get your ass to the gym and to the yoga studio so that you're building natural natural energy rather than relying on chemicals like caffeine or stimulants to give you energy. So I have a question for you. I know that you've been a vegetarian for about 20 years mm -hmm. and only recently have started being pescatarian and, and including fish, yes. which has been good for you because you like put on a bunch of like muscle. But um, I mean, who knows if both are related exactly, but right, like working out. Yeah, I mean, so what's your question? Question is, I believe you said that you'd be okay with eating meat during the Whole30 because a lot of the meals include meat. Now, I've got the organic grass-fed healthy stuff from ButcherBox. It's a uh, company that you can order meat from so that it's not factory farmed. That being said... 
Yeah. If, How if, are you if, feeling about eating meat? If we're going to be strict Whole30, I think it's going to be challenging for me to do that as a vegetarian, pescatarian. So, like without um, um, cheese? No, no. Yeah, I just mean, like, Only it, I think you need a lot of meat to make it to make it uh, filling. Right, like you need No grains, you know? And so it's like... Yeah, you don't get the... I mean, I, I, I would be eating a lot of tuna and a lot of eggs, which I still think I would like to do. But yeah. I think that, you know, partially because I want to honor your desire to cook. I, as you know, I am... I can eat uh, the same thing over the sink every night. But in order to be a good partner, I would <laughs> like to allow you to explore other meals that, that uh, you'd like to, because I don't think this is going to be an easy journey. So to make it as easy as possible, let's he open doesn't up what you can do. Right, because it's like if I make something and I've made a chicken uh, stir fry and then you don't want the chicken, it's like... I have to make a second stir fry or, you know, oh, I have to cook the chicken separately. So by embracing that we're, and again, I want, I make, I'm eager to see how you feel. And if you feel bad, if you eat meat or if you feel okay, because not everybody's meant to eat the same thing, I think. So what if you don't do well with certain meats and you do well with other meats? And that's why I wanted to try it for do the 30 days and then maybe do a 30 day juice and then maybe do a blood 30 type. 30 days juice. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I meant a seven day, seven okay. day juice cleanse. I've never done a full seven day juice cleanse, which would mean I wouldn't get to have any meat for seven days or any, any, uh, proteins other than the proteins found in vegetables. So, so, and while that'd be a good it reset. is true that you generally, uh, are the cook. I'm a badass cook, right? However, tell them I make good what, food. What you are a great cook. I'm a great cook. What did I cook in the last 24 hours? Oh my gosh, this guy—he's been on this kick, going to yoga like a madman, and even is excited about Pilates. And went with me to the gym twice. That's why. That's what's happening. The Hulk within you is like must make food. Just kidding. I, I made, came home yesterday, and there was avocado. There was avocado chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. There was. Um, cauliflower hummus. Cauliflower hummus. A friend of mine lent me his practical. I used a alien. food processor. A friend of mine let, lent me his uh, pa practical paleo cookbook, and um, I was trying to get uh, Halcyon to watch some videos about um, some food recipes that were vegan, and I go check this out and tell me if it looks yummy because if it is, we should make it. And he's like, I don't really like watching YouTube videos, and I was like, fine. Look at this cookbook. There's a bunch of pretty pictures, and he ended up. We're making a YouTube video. You can't uh, see. I don't like watching them. Well, I got you to watch a few of them. I don't. So like I'm proud watching. of you for that. I'll be honest. I much prefer making videos than watching them. I prefer watching them to me. I like them. to listen to things. In fact, I I listen to YouTube videos. Right, right. You just play it in the car. Yeah. Okay, but um, so. But this is our first video, so maybe we should not get go too deep. Okay, but the point is. I gave him a, a gigantic cookbook Bible and said, could you look through this? And if things in here look yummy, just make a little sticker on it so that we can try some of these recipes. Because you know, if you're gonna eat paleo, you gotta prep food, you have to prepare. You don't wanna be hungry and not have anything available because then you'll go to the store and buy a bag of chips or a granola bar that has sugar and oats and other things that are not Whole30. We should make a whole video about that, like techniques to make it easier to make good decisions. Well, I've been listening to some podcasts that I'll share with you since you like to listen to things that are about habit change and about how to do little things that make it easier for you to stick to your good choices. Yeah. I mean, like, like if, if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it. Right. I, like, that's why I said we've got to get rid of this food that's in the house that is carby or, or has sugar because I will eat it if it's in the house. So we've, we've, we've reduced down to almost no more we don't even have gluten-free bread. We have all of it is gone, and all we have is like a ton of vegetables and uh, organic meat and fish. It's amazing what the brain will do. Like, you know, you'll be like, I don't want to eat that candy. And then your brain's like, well, you know what? It's good, you're gonna have to eat it sometime. Right, you you got, well, you gotta get rid of so it so it's not well, there. So might as well just get rid of it. And, and as long as you, I mean, might as well just finish it off tonight. Yes. You know, because you're, you're, you're basically doing a service to, to your future to, self. To future self by eating all of this candy. Well, Right now. What did I confess to you two nights ago when I came into the office? On day bad. one of my period, mind you. Oh, that's your It case. wasn't me that did it. It was my uterus. She said, give me that fucking chocolate right now. 
She's got a mouth on her. So I came to the office and I had a little bowl with some candy in it that was all from my stocking and I brought it to the office so that people would eat it. It had lint truffles, it had Rolos, it had gold coins, and it had, let's just say, I was like, well, I need to finish off the candy because I'm doing Hall 30 soon. <laughs> so we'll tell the truth. Uh, yeah, we'll tell you the truth. Going and look forward to sharing the journey with you. Yeah, follow the YouTube channel if you want to uh, see the videos here. You can also uh, join my Holistic Journey Facebook group or send me an email. The email, My email and contact information is going to be in the notes below this video. And um, I can add you to the group so that you can see. I'm going to share on the group like TED Talks and recipe lists and other inspiring content that's helping me um, stick to this plan and we might do whole 30 and then juice cleanse and then blood type diet keto yeah, thinking... we might try a lot of different things to see how we feel and so if you follow this journey with us you'll know how it works at least for us and then you could learn some stuff and maybe get inspired to do it for yourself you know I used to share beefcake photos photos on my patreon so maybe that should be part of this too you know? oh yeah so we're gonna... the, the journey and show yes so we're not just doing this to get our sugar addictions eradicated and kill the bacteria in our gut that makes us want to eat candy but uh also you know mental clarity um emotional stability um healthy sleep patterns these are all goals that we've discussed that are part of why we want to do this and you know the fitness and looking badass is just a fabulous byproduct so we will take a before and after photo of like how we look today in a speedo and then 30 days from now how we look speedo. i'm just saying we're gonna all right you know, we look forward to seeing you on the journey yes please join us and please give us your uh encouragement because you know it's tough so if you see us out and about we're not eating sugar we're not drinking right now but we will eat chicken wings and coconut oil and we'll take uh, bets on who uh, who quits first bye bye <laughs>